Today we'll look at ordering parts directly from your Fusion 360 designs. With Zometry's Fusion 360 add-in, you can receive instant quotes and order parts created by 3D printing, CNC machining, urethane casting, and other production methods. They offer hundreds of material and finish options with no quantity minimums. Best of all, the add-in provides design for manufacturing feedback, allowing you to make design improvements before submitting for manufacturing. Get started by downloading the official Zometry add-in from the Autodesk App Store. Install the download package on your chosen operating system following the standard installation process. Once installed, head to Fusion 360's Utilities tab where you'll find the Zometry add-in located in the toolbar. If the add-in doesn't appear in the toolbar, head to the Scripts and Add-ins tool and make sure it's running. If for some reason you don't see it here, check that the installation is completed and restart your Fusion 360 application and check again. Upon activating the add-in, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Zometry account. You can also create a new account without having to open your web browser. To get accurate pricing and lead times, make sure your market is set correctly. The Zometry Fusion 360 add-in now supports EU customers, including those in English, German, French, and Italian. Select the Add Components button, then select the desired component in the Fusion 360 browser. I'll repeat this process for the remaining two wrench designs. Before we select Next Step, we can update the quantity. I'll leave these all set to 1 as we can always update the quantity later. We can then configure the manufacturing process, material, and finish for all components. Note that we can also update this later, including changing the process, material, or finish on an individual basis. I went with the HP Multijet Fusion, Nylon 12 Gray for the material, and a standard finish. Selecting Get Estimate will initiate the quoting process. This may take a minute or so, depending on how many parts you selected. Keep in mind this is also checking for DFM, or Design for Manufacturability. After a minute or so, our estimate loads and we're ready to review. We're provided with a subtotal and lead time, as well as a 3D view of each model. Start by viewing the 3D model to ensure everything is included. Notice that Wrench Design 1 passed all of the DFM checks, including gap, small part, wall thickness, and so on. However, I did receive a warning about minimum pricing for this setup, including a recommendation to increase the quantity, which may result in the same price. I'll toggle this part open and update the quantity with 2. Selecting Save and Recalculate will load a new estimate with the updated quantity. It looks like I'm still at the minimum, so I'll update this to a quantity of 3. The minimum pricing notice went away, so it looks like we can get 3 of these for approximately $3 more than the cost of 2, or we could choose to order 2 of them with no extra cost. On the standard wrench component, it appears that I'm getting a DFM warning. We can toggle to the second photo and view the model. Notice the warning area is highlighted with yellow, and I'm given a warning that the wall thickness may be too small. Keep in mind, some DFM warnings may still be okay to send to manufacturing. This does not mean it will prevent us from ordering this part. If you do happen to make changes to your designs based on the DFM recommendations or any other changes in requirements, you can always use the sync button to pull in the latest design. Keep in mind you can also close the add-in and reopen it at any time, and it will keep your estimate information active. This can be helpful when needing to make design changes. We have the same minimum price warning for the other two wrenches, so we may want to update their quantities as well. However, this is never required. Keep in mind the subtotal and lead time will update with each change, making it easy to adapt to any project requirements or budgets. I'd like to check how much this would be with an SLS 3D printer instead of Multijet Fusion. I'll select Configure All Parts at the top and select SLS. I'll also choose Nylon 12 with a smooth finish. We can then reinitiate the estimate. This price happens to be higher, so I'll switch this back to MJF as that's sufficient for printing these concept designs. 
If needed, we can also reset the entire quote. For a limited time, customers using the Fusion 360 add-in will also receive 10% off the entire order. Once you're happy with your chosen parts and materials, select View Zometry Instant Quote. This will automatically load a web browser page where you can make any final changes and complete the checkout process, or share a direct link with someone in your company. In just four business days, the sample parts arrived. After unpacking, all of them turned out to be in great condition and working order. Notice the resolution that is achievable with a multi-jet Fusion 3D printer that is not feasible on an FFF printer at home. It's now easier and more affordable than ever to order commercial quality parts for prototyping or production right from your Fusion 360 designs. Be sure to check out the other lesson where I discuss how these wrenches were created using automated modeling in Fusion 360.